There are very few things more sacred than your gaming setup. Your own personal little space where you can go and play games, whether it be PC gaming, console gaming, or handheld gaming. I love my gaming space and office setup. It's my own little thing with my own little knickknacks and personality. And I wanted to see what all of your gaming setups look like. So this week over on the Discord and on the YouTube channel, I asked you to send me pictures of your gaming setups. And I got a lot of them. I was not expecting to get this many responses to this question but we have a bunch of gaming setups that we are going to go through and rate and judge very harshly now there are way too many of these to go through in a single video so we'll be doing a couple of parts to this so if you do want to be included in the next iteration of this video make sure you send me through some pictures of your gaming setup either over on twitter at tpt josh or you can join the discord link in the description down below and you can send me some pictures of your gaming setup through there to be included in the next episode i haven't actually looked at any of these yet i've intentionally not looked at any of them just downloaded the pictures because I want to react to these live on this video so you're gonna be seeing them at the same time as I do I'm not gonna name or shame anyone here well we're gonna shame some people here but we're not gonna name anybody here so let's look at the first one gaming setup number one very um very elegant very simple very elegant we've got a disc here um, we've got a PlayStation 4 it looks like a slim PlayStation 4 is that a slim or is that a pro let's let's check that actually, it looks like the double hamburger. I think it's a PlayStation 4 Pro. He's got his hard drive here as well. A bit of FIFA here to tone it out, but I'm noticing some of this lighting coming in. So we've got some lighting here, some, some purple neon lights, which I'm, I'm impressed by. And more impressive than anything, we've got this plant coming down here, which is just going to give you more oxygen while you're gaming, which is incredibly important. So good job there. Good job there. Now, when I first clicked on this, I thought this might be like a stack of Xbox 360 games, but it's not. And I'm, I'm also not sure if that's like a pack of cigarettes there. It's just, it's it, look, it's just too hard to tell. Uh, but this is a good gaming setup. This is a, this is a solid. This gets, this gives a, I give this one a thumbs up. <laughs> what is this? Oh, now look, there's a few alarm bells here that are telling me that this is not real. Firstly, the image size is, is telling me things. Something's not quite right here. Also, this kind of looks like a PS5. So maybe that's, maybe that's why someone sent it to me. Let's, let's rate it as we would. Okay, so I think this is a, this is a PS5 looking heater thing. We've got a, <laughs> what the hell is this? It's like, this is the computer down here. Oh my God, that's the computer. These are the parts that make the PC. They're all like separated out. That's like a motherboard. That's the power source. That looks like a disk drive of some sort. I, I got some cables. Like this is a, this is basically the case for the computer in this cupboard. This is disgusting. Whoever did this, you're an animal. What are you, what are you doing? This is not what we want to see. Oh my goodness. And I don't even know what's on here. This great headset though. Hits it as a 10 out of 10. Wow, that is that is atrocious. That is shocking. Okay, here we go. Another setup here. This is, there's a lot going on in this one, isn't there? There's a lot happening here. So we've got a PS5 here with a nice little Spider-Man decal. Looks like someone's a Spidey fan here. We've got some uh, controllers here. Looks like a, a PlayStation 5 DualSense and a uh, Xbox controller connected up to an Xbox here, which is good. So he's a multi-platform gamer, which I love to start with. Now, if we look here, we've got game. We've got a uh, looks like with Xbox open here, and then Twitch open here. I mean, I don't know why we're not watching like the Platinum Trophy YouTube channel. That's probably what I would have put on the screen. The thing I like the most about this, I think, is these glasses here on like their little podium of their own. I don't know. Are these like gamer glasses, or are these just a random pair of glasses that you've just decided to like pop on this podium here? I'm not sure. Um, either way good job my only problem with this is there's nowhere to sit you've got a giant pc down here which which probably looks more powerful than quite literally anything in this room but it looks like it's taking up sort of all your space here so i wonder where the chair goes the other thing i'm a little bit unsure about is just where this is it doesn't look like it's located in like an office or a games room it does appear to look like it's in a kitchen because that looks like holy that is so many bananas are you, why are there so many bananas in there? There's, there's quite literally like three bunches of bananas here. This is, 
What, this is way too many. These are all going to go ripe, and they're all going to go bad by the time you get to eat them. Unless you have, like, seven people in your household just eating bananas all the time. That's too many. But you should never have that many bananas. I don't know what... I don't know. But just for the banana... For the bananas alone, this is uh this is this is getting a this is getting a from me. Which I, you can determine if that's good. I thought that was another banana up there on the left. It's not. All right, ah, uh, a man of culture. Look at this. He's put the right thing on the screen. He's put me doing quite literally the worst face anyone could ever be doing. Great. You know when you pause yourself and it's just it's just the worst looking. Mm. Anyway, all right, let's see what he's got here. So we've got ourselves a console here, uh, a television here, a, uh, a Dynex, a great Dynex television. I've never heard of that brand. He's got an Xbox uh, Connect under here, which I am kind of shocked to still see existing today. I just didn't think that they were still around. I thought they were actually illegal to have. Um, we've got ourselves a PS4 Slim looking very slim line there. And then we've actually got an Xbox... What an OG Xbox One, like an original Xbox One plus an Xbox 360. This is a this is a very very a very quaint, simple setup here. It doesn't look like there's too much customization. Um, it doesn't look like you've dusted it in you know nine years, but it still looks it's still a, it's still a good setup. It's a good setup, um, and kudos to you for still having the Xbox 360 out and having never taken that warning sticker off it before because that's. That takes some real dedication, and good job for having me on your screen. That's that's also that gives you a that gives you a thumbs up from me. All right, here we go. This is a this is a full on setup. This stuff is happening here. This guy's we've gone all out here. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got a microphone here. I'm guessing that maybe he's a streamer of some sort potentially, or maybe it's just for playing games online. I'm not sure. We've got our PS5 down here in the corner, which is bigger than both of these monitors, which is. Disappointing, but that's not your fault. So we've got our PS5. We've got uh, a mouse pad and our, and our keyboard here connected to our computer. So a lot of people, from what we've seen so far, have a PC and a PS5 or a, a console like next to each other, which is interesting. Um, and then we've got some figures here. It looks like a Watch Dogs fan, uh, which, is, which is interesting. And then a couple of PS4 games up the top here. I think that's SAO. I, I believe that's like SAO, but I don't think that's from a game. I think that's just like SAO, maybe like the manga or something. I mean, I like SAO. I'm a big fan. A couple of uh, a couple of pictures here from the Yogcast. Good setup. Very nice, elegant, simple setup. Uh, let's have a look at. Okay, so what's this down here by the PS5? That looks like an LED light remote. I wonder if that's to control the mouse pad or if he's got like some sort of LEDs somewhere else in the room. That could be interesting. What else have we got here? We got some. I, I think that the image is a little bit too low res to be able to see like the complete collection here. We've got a steam and like yeah, we can't we can't really make those out. So we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about those. Oh cool, we have a more zoomed in version. Well, it doesn't really help us anyway. Just no, it's it's more of the same. It's more of the same. Good setup. I approve of this setup. You get a thumbs um, this way, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, we have another picture. Okay, he sent three pictures. Well, it still doesn't really help us. Okay, next setup we have. Um, Okay, this is a very simple setup here. Now I'm immediately seeing a few things, and I feel like this one's been like very uh, carefully placed to, to 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 really show off what they've got here. We've got a PlayStation, we've got a Nintendo Switch, nicely placed here on a little mat. It looks like a, a PlayStation Vita, but it's quite hard to tell, and a Nintendo 3DS, and then we've just got the the Philippines. I guess that's like the, the sixth day of the month, perhaps. I'm not really sure. Um, but we've got a nice little setup here. A couple of games underneath the television, uh, Switch and PS4, which is good. And a, and a nice, the TV covers the entire space, which is good. I love playing games on my TV as well. I'm not much of a, a monitor gamer. I just, I don't know. I like the big screen and the sounds coming from the TV. Um, so this one's good. Nice, very simple setup. Looks like it's on someone's dresser, maybe in their bedroom or something like that, which is, uh, I give that, I, that one I approve. I approve this message. All right, here we go. We've got, oh, there's a fair bit happening in this one as well. We've got a PS5 to start with. So good, I guess, PS5 uh, sitting over here in the corner. Doesn't fit anywhere else though, does it? Couldn't fit it in any of these drawers. Uh, wasn't going to happen. And I mean, you probably could, oh no, it's not fitting under there either. It's too fat for those places. So we've had to cram it down here next to the TV, which, you know, consequently has made, you've had to slide the TV across, 
which I'm not a massive fan of. It's not even anymore, and it, you know, we'll want it to be even in the room. It's just not anymore, so, you know, there's that. Um, playing some Ghost of Tsushima on the PS4, which is a great game. Now, there's a lot of other stuff going on in this room too, right? So we've got down here, I mean, that could be a PS4 maybe, a bunch of toys, I, I don't know. Potentially Spider-Man and Thor toy, I guess, um, hiding down here. Um, someone's milk, they've just drank, you know, a, a glass of milk and just left that there. And then we've got just a bunch more toys and a, and a wheel. Uh, yeah, and then a couple of controllers. Maybe he's got the new red controller there by the looks of it. And then some dress-ups over on the side, I guess. So this maybe is like someone's bedroom, like their, their room. Uh, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe a younger gamer perhaps. Um, but based on some of the games they're playing there, it's super hard. To oh wait, okay, we've got more. We've got more, which just honestly really does not answer many of the questions. It, it probably brings up significantly more questions, if anything. For, like, I mean, obviously the thing we got to talk about, just like first and foremost, is the sandwich there. Was that placed there for the photo, maybe? I, I don't know if that was like, and you wanted the sandwich in the shot, the sandwich just ended up in the shot, and you're like, look, I'll just send it to him anyway, I don't really care. I, I just, I'm not sure what happened there. It doesn't look like anything else has really changed, except we've just sort of got a bit more of a wider shot, just showing, you know, significantly more dress-ups here. Um, I guess maybe a bed or a couch of some sort that this is on. I mean, it looks very comfy to sit on and play games in. Um, I'd love to know what that sandwich is, though, in the comments down below. If you could, I mean, maybe maybe you guys could guess what kind of a sandwich is that. Is that a, is it a ham sandwich? PB&J? Well, like, what's, what's, what kind of sandwich is he rocking here? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Very funny. I get it. What a... What the hell is this? What on earth is this? There's not even a PS4 in this photo, so this is... This is... This, I mean, it is someone's house, though, right? Like, even if it's... A troll photo. It's still... Someone did this. Someone... I don't know what happened to you, but, like, that's just... There's so many problems with this. I don't know who sent this through, but... Look, if this is genuinely your house, I'm... You've... I'm, let me come and clean it for you, please. Let me just... I'll come and do it. I, I don't even care anymore at this point. Just looking at that, it pains me so much. I mean, like, there's the weird nuances. Like, they've got a fan here to cool them down while they're watching TV. But then they've also got so much rubbish in this room that, you know... The, the other thing I'm noticing just immediately is that there's a picture that's just fallen down. And it's just there. It's just it's sitting on the back of the couch there. Disgusting. This is a 0 out of 10. All right. Oh, this. I like this. I like this. The elegance of this. The simplicity of this. This is this is good. This is a top tier gaming setup. This is a professional. We, this is a professional. Trust me, guys. So we've got two Lazy Boy chairs that look like they recline as well. I can see that recliner there. That's perfect. Interestingly, we've got a couple of trophy cups filled with some sort of a blue... I'm not sure what they are. Um, not sure if we've got another photo of this angle. Maybe we have another one we can see it better. But they look like, I'm guessing, some sort of a candy, perhaps? Which is... I'm okay with that. Looks like someone's been a little bit peckish of this side. Um, okay, over in the in the console cabinet, we've got a lot of consoles here. It looks like a disc-based PS5, an original PS4 with a VR, a PS3, and then I'm guessing that's like maybe an OG PS3, so they can play like PS1 and PS2 games on it. That there, I'm not sure. It could be some sort of a Mega Drive or a Nintendo system. And that looks like an original Xbox down below, which is great. We've got a nice, massive television screen with a sound bar, which means it would sound fantastic. And then over here, we've got the VR setup, the controller charging ports. We've got, I guess, like the subwoofer or maybe a PC of some sort. The PlayStation lights, which aren't as cool as mine, but they're still pretty good. Um, which is, yeah, everything about this setup is great. I don't know what this chair's for. I think that there's probably no actual use for that chair. Maybe it's used for PlayStation VR. That's what I'm probably thinking, because I don't know why I asked that would be there. And then we've also got this, which looks like a radio or a, 
a, some sort of a record player radio type device from quite literally the, the, the 1970s, which uh, I, I approve of as well. This is a good setup. It all, the colors all match. Is Guys, the colors match. That's what's important. The colors all match. This would be such a good games room. And you've got a couple of like really nice blankets on each of these chairs. So you can just sit back and relax. You've got a nice blanket there to keep you warm. And there's more blankets underneath if you need them. This is a great setup. I think this is my favorite one that we've seen so far. This is good. This gets the, this gets the PlayStation Plus badge of approval from me. All right, let's look at the next one. Okay. Not a lot to go off here. This one is pretty dark. We've got a massive shot of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Persona. Um, so, I'm, I mean, obviously likes those games, but I can't see, you know, I, I can tell it's a television of some sort, maybe some sort of like a locked cabinet that closes to hide things. It looks like maybe they have a Nintendo Switch. Potentially, I can't see what kind of console it is, but it looks to be a PS4 of some sort. Maybe like a Pro or a standard PS4. Not too sure though. Um, good setup. Photos are not very good though. If you want to like resubmit the photos with like a bit better light so we can see what's going on for the next video. Okay, great. This is 10 out of 10. Straight off the bat. 10 out of 10. Uh, just for the cat. You've got the, the cat up the top there. You've got the, the PS5, which is, you know, way bigger than the cat, which is still disappointing to me and that's got nothing to do with the setup it's just the ps5 is just a disappointment to me you've got your playstation 4 here ps3 i guess like a vr on maybe a ps2 is what i'm hoping that is i have no clue what that white thing is there but i do think that looks like a ps2 slim underneath the vr I don't know what the white thing is. You're going to have to let me know what that is. And then a PS1 with memory card still attached. This is a good setup as well, guys. I, I like this. Nice uh, PlayStation through the ages, retro versus modern setup. Good. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that one. Yeah, this one also can get the PlayStation Plus uh, seal of approval. Okay. This is a very, very simple setup. Uh, not sure exactly what's going on here. I don't know, maybe they're moving or something. It doesn't look like there's a huge amount of furniture in the room. We've just got like, a tiny footstool in the corner here with, a, I guess, a TV remote on it. Uh, a lamp here, which I don't really know why there would be a lamp there. Because you're not really needing that light there, are you, for anything? I'm not sure that's for. Uh, you've got a PlayStation 4 here with some sort of a device on it with blue lights. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe like a HDMI switch or something, perhaps. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to let me know in the comments. Uh, your controller here on, on, you know, on your TV, which is good. Um, and then a fan, just to keep you nice and cool during those hot summer days of gaming. Um, very, very simple setup. I hope you're not sitting on the ground. I hope there's like a chair or something maybe back there that you're sitting on. Looks like you're actually on the, uh, on the Platinum Trophy Discord as well, which is good. So, uh, thumbs up for that one. Good job. Good little basic setup there. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So we've got some, we've got some LEDs, which, which instantly like brings things to life. I love my LEDs in the background. They always, they just, they just add so much flair. You know what I mean? They, they just give it that, 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 that extra little oomph. I do wonder what happened up here though. That's something that, you know, I'm curious, like was there something on the wall and it fell down or did you throw something at the wall perhaps? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Looks like you guys are playing Red Dead. I think that's Red Dead. Um, okay, so a black PlayStation 4. That's really nice looking, by the way. That looks very, very good. So you're getting, you're definitely getting some extra points for that. Uh, I guess it's like a, what do you call them? A skin or a decal or, or a faceplate, but it looks nice. It's really, really nice and elegant there. And then you've got uh, a PS4 Pro down here as well. Maybe that's a VR setup, I think. And then a bunch of PS4 games. Um, so yeah, not a bad one. Again, pretty decent, pretty decent setup here. I give this one another Another nice little thumbs up, except for that hole in the in the in the wall, which I'm actually now thinking could be the roof rather than a wall, because that crease might be where the wall turns to. I'm not sure. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments down below. But a good good setup. Oh, we're back. We're back here again. Okay. All right. So this is a, a different angle of uh, the best gaming setup that I've ever seen, and there are just so many games in that game collection. That's insane. I don't even know where to begin here. I don't even know if we will actually get into this because I want to do another video, a follow-up one of these videos, uh, maybe a different series where we rate your game collection as well. Uh, so I think I'll hold off and he can send in his game collection pictures when we go and look at that one. But this is great. Even the lighting in this room is perfect. Like he, There's no specialist lighting in here like there is in here. I've got these giant headlights up here and over here that you guys can't see. They're just off camera. Well, you, you can probably see, uh, you can almost see the ones in my background. 
But this, this room is lit so perfectly and uh, he's done a great job with, with what he's got there. Okay, that is, uh, I've, I've been recording for such a long time. That is all of the ones we're gonna go through today. I've got a bunch more of them that are in there. We'll, we'll include those in another video. So if you didn't see your setup and you've sent it through, uh, it will be included in a part two or a part three of this series. So just hang tight for that. And if you want to include your gaming setup in a future part of this series, make sure you do send it through to me. Send me some photos of your setup. Um, make sure it's lit well so I can see what's going on and I can, I can give it a rating and review it for you as well. Uh, make sure if you want to send through any of your images your gaming setups you can either just send me a link to it in the comments of this video or you can send them through to me on a Twitter DM uh, twitter.com slash tptjock or in the description of this video down below you can join the discord server and you can send me through some pictures via discord as well thank you to everyone who sent through setups uh, this has been a really fun video to make I really appreciate everyone for helping me out with this one if you, if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up and leave a comment let me know which was your favorite gaming setup from the this video as well and stay tuned for part two next week patreons it is that time again thank you each and every one of you popping up on the screen here for supporting me this month on patreon is thanks to all of you that we can keep these lights on in the back of the studio without without you the lights wouldn't be on so thank you so much for that if you want to support me further on patreon or as a channel member you can hit the join button directly below this video on youtube or the link in the description down below to go over to patreon and help support the channel thank you guys you're all legends